Histograms in general used to plot the frequency of score occurrences in a continuous data set that has been divided into classes called bins or bar charts. In geoscience, histograms are used for qualitative and quantitative analysis, data interpretation, data quality, data, data quality control. So it's essential part of reservoir modeling workflow using softwares such as Petrail. In Petrail, we can display histograms for different properties of the reservoir, faces, porosity, or, perme or permeability. So histograms are important QC process or quality control process. We apply them to make sure that our model is robust as output data matches input data, hence results are following our geological concept. So how to display histograms in Petrel? We do that by going to histograms window and click. So this is the hist histogram window. We can choose to display one of the properties. Uh, I choose here porosity. We can display all the data sources available from this icon. So we choose uh, the uh, um, so we choose to display the um, histograms for all cells in selected uh, uh, property. We also display histograms for upscaled uh, cells in the selected property and display histograms for log values associated with upscaled cells in the selected property. There you go. There is another way to display um, some object histograms by going to the property and uh, double click and go to histogram tab and this is the uh, histogram that shows the data for three uh, data sources with logs, upscale cells and the, uh, and the model porosity. Usually this histogram window is used for data display as we see here and uh, quality control purposes as well as uh, as we said, it, it can display uh, data for three different resources. But the pitfall about this approach is that we don't have an access to settings such as the color of the columns, um, the scale, in addition to the capability to add functions, and so on. Uh, so let's close this window and go back to the histogram window. Now, what if I want to change the settings of the histogram? Such a histogram such as uh, bar color, scale, number of intervals, etc. Uh, it's either by, by going to the settings button in the top bar here and click and select viewport settings, or by go by going to the windows tab, go to histogram window and double click on histogram, and you get the same window. From this window, we can control the number of columns, splits data range into specified numbers of intervals. Let's make let's uh, give an example. Let's say into thirty. Let's change it to another number, forty. Or we can use the uh, split data range using the specified increment. Discrete. This will use integ integer values for the histograms. We can also choose to, uh, the limits of the x, y, uh, x uh, axis values from minimum to maximum. Also, set the maximum per percentage for y axis frequency. So. Uh, if we want to change the colors of the bars, so we cannot uh, do um, do that from the view settings uh, window, but instead we can go to uh, we can do that by going to double click on property and go to style tab, and from here we can change the uh, uh, you, you can see the uh, color for uh, the the histogram bar for each uh, data source. So example. Uh, I want to change the color from uh, okay. Let's say that uh, specified. Say uh, green. I changed here for the uh, 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 model cells. Change for upscale cells. Let's set that to specified. Make it red. And 
for upscale cells and this is for the original one keep the we can set uh, uh, choose the blue there you go and below here we can control the settings of the cum cumulative distribution function including the uh, co uh, color type line width uh, point type and point size and the same for the lines between uh, columns still there are more tools associated with histogram settings that can ca can be seen the toolbar at the top here uh, you, for example you can select let's close this one you can select a, you can select a certain number of uh, bins or columns by setting 1d filter so click on this icon and move uh, through the bins of your choice for example from here Um, actually there are certain cases uh, where you need to apply 1d filter on histograms uh, such as when you are uh, excluding uh, outliers from uh, data or run volumetrics on certain uh, segment or interval of the reservoir such as layered uh, cake uh, in cases such as the layered cake uh, uh, reservoir so uh, if you want to remove the selection just click on the f um, filter frame like this and press delete now let's come to the next one which is distribution function it's commonly used for distributing property through reservoir cells and it's very important uh, when it comes to modeling reservoirs that lack of enough data click and you get window this window that displays different types of functions uh, you can see that most of them are not active because we have selected multiple data sources multiple data sources so let's retain only well logs and to go back to the distribution function and you can see that all the options for uh, function distribution is uh, 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 highlighted or uh, on now now let's uh, choose uh, fit distribution to active histograms uh, columns and do run the equation will be generated you can see it also displayed in the input tab here so the distribution function is a series of uh, x uh, y pairs uh, when the function is built from histogram the x represent the values of the center of the histogram bin and the y is the count or the number of values in that bin so once a function has been created as we said it can be um, uh, it, it will be located here and it it can be uh, displayed or we change uh, the setting like the color and the width of the uh, line it also can be edited exported or used as data uh, for property modeling now we come to the uh, to this icon which uh, enable uh, us to edit the equation sometimes you don't have enough data or you have gaps between the um, the uh, histogram bins uh, and this would result uh, uh, you, you sometimes you don't have um, uh, enough data and this would result in gaps between the bins so you need to modify the equation line to fit your uh, interpretation by using this uh, icon here uh, this is an example The next one enables us to uh, uh, to move the equation up or down in uh, in one time like this. Put it back where it is originally. Still, there are uh, more to do with histogram uh, window. Uh, for example, we can hide the uh, uh, histogram column by clicking on this icon. We want to retain only the equation. Uh, and if we want to change. Um, the uh, the y axis between percentage percentage and number by clicking on this uh, icon you can see that the uh, y value the y scale is changing between percentage and uh, number 
uh, and now we come to uh, important uh, action we need for this uh, the, uh, it's important uh, for, for data analysis which is the uh, uh, CDF or the cumulative distribution uh, frequency curve so you just click on it you can see that uh, this is the CDF or this is the, the, the or uh, uh, the cum uh, uh, cumula cumulative uh, uh, distribution uh, fre frequency, which is an important function for the following region reasons. Uh, number one, um, it's uh, used for normal score distribution for a property, uh, which is an approach ap approach applied by uh, sequential Gaussian sim simulation algorithm. And number two, um, important for uh, volumes for probabilistic estimations which is uh, 1p proven and uh, 2p proven probable and uh, 3p proven probable uh, possible cases. So, uh, I hope that you learned from this video how to display histograms in Petrail for data analysis and uh, functions generations, generation such as CDF. Uh, and the most important, the target after uh, histogram application in reservoir modeling workflow. So thank you for watching and uh, stay home, to be safe from coronavirus and uh, keep learning.